you know, there's a lot of times I hear you talk about the NASDAQ or the this or the that, and, and it sounds like you're talking Greek because right. I know nothing about the stocks, nothing about the market. Mm-hmm. Is there any place that you would recommend a book, a uh, website, something where I could go and learn and and understand exactly what you're talking about? Because I have, uh, you know, like at work, I have a 401k. I get my statement every so often. I don't have a clue what I'm investing in. Mm. And it's well, because I don't understand. Yeah, there is a lot of print out there that helps explain it. But I'm going to explain it to you, Benji, right now, because it really isn't that complicated. It really isn't. And I'm going to tell you why I bring the indexes up. So here's the deal. There are three major indexes, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P. What that means is, so the Dow... It's made up of 30 of the biggest companies, companies like 3M, DuPont, AT&T, Home Depot, by the way, is one of them, Caterpillar, um, General Electric, IBM. You know, I mean, I don't think there would be a company in the Dow that you wouldn't know. The NASDAQ is, they're primarily technology stocks. Microsoft, Apple Computer, Intel, those kinds of things. Technologies, that's the NASDAQ. And the S&P are the 500 largest companies in the country. It's 500 companies. Now, why is that important? Well, first of all, in your 401k, you could have an index fund. And it's usually a fund that tracks the S&P index. If you had an index fund... It would mean that that fund has the same stocks in it that the index has. And basically, you can listen to me and know what you're doing on your index fund. But that's not why I say that. That's not why I bring them up. I bring them up because the idea of these indexes, when I talk about it, is to be a barometer, a gauge, a measurement that gives us, because of the diversified stocks in them, it gives us a general idea of what the market is doing in general. Chances are, no matter what stocks you have, or what mutual funds you have that are stock mutual funds, if the S&P is up, you know, 50 points, chances are you're up that day in your mutual fund. It gives us an overview of whether the market is doing poorly or doing well. And that used to be, I don't believe it is anymore, but it used to be an indication of the strength of the economy. But it isn't now, but it used to be. So for the last hundred years, we have been in the habit of looking at the indexes as a general idea that, hey, you know what? The economy's pretty good. I should be able to go out and get a job. The Dow just hit a record high, uh, still going up. I should, I, uh, there's no reason why I can't go out and get a job because it means that people are making money. Companies are making money. They're going to be expanding. Uh, people are happy. Consumer confidence is good. The economy is strong. So people say, well, I don't, they don't matter to me because I don't have any money. No, it, it, it does matter to you because it is going to take a look at, and again, it really doesn't, but people still think it does, give us an indication of what the economy is doing and the economy affects all of us, whether we, it's just a matter of keeping our job or whatever it is. So the the index funds are just a group of stocks. They're not managed or anything. Like, you know, they're not uh, stocks that some manager that manages the Dow or something. It's not like that at all. They're just stocks. They don't get touched. They're, it's, it's not, you can't, you don't buy the Dow or you don't buy the S&P. You can buy mutual funds that try to track them. But it's just an index to give us an indication of where things are. So that's all it is. 
So I say that because it helps me springboard into, well, why is the Dow up so high? Well, you know, maybe something's good is really happening in the economy. Why is it down so much? Maybe something bad is happening that's going to impact all of us in the economy. So, I mean, that's the main reason why we continue to uh, talk about that and talk about those indexes. So the Dow is only 40 companies. Uh, The NASDAQ is all technology companies. And the S&P is a mix of different companies based on 500 of the largest companies. So that's what, and they're not all the largest companies because there are some that are taken out. So there may be some in the S&P that are in the NASDAQ but aren't in the S&P. So, but that's, it, it, there's nothing more than a gauge. It's just something that we get in the habit of, uh, of looking at. So if, if everything is crashing, you can count on your 401k is crashing too. If everything is really up, your 401k should be doing good. And if it isn't, something's wrong. So, uh, you know, it's it's a way for you to kind of get a feel for what things are doing without really, uh, you know, having to know all the detail. 